Now I'm sure you've heard all about the orcas fighting back worldwide, but you might be surprised to learn that this isn't the first time whales have fought back against humans. About 2,000 years ago, a whale named Perfirius attacked and sunk ships off the beaches of Constantinople about 2,000 years ago. The whale was active for about 50 years attacking seafarers. Emperor Justinian made it an important effort to capture this whale. However, he was unable to come up with a method to ever do so. The name Perfirius was given to the whale by the sailors in Constantinople. It's assumed his name is a reference to his color of deep purple or a blue, although it could be in reference to just how regal they saw the whale because purple was considered a royal color at the time. Perfirius is mentioned in the writings of Procopius in the 6th century Byzantine Empire. According to him, Perfirius's measurements were 45 feet long by 15 feet wide. Now you have to remember, whales were not understood at all in antiquity or in medieval times. To them, a whale was just a giant sea monster. It is thought that Perfirius was either a large sperm whale or an abnormally large orca. The whale being a sperm whale is supported by its temperament, size, and lifespan. On the other hand, the identification of orca also works based on its geographical location. And if his name is referenced to his color, that actually doesn't help us at all, as a sperm whale can be deep blue in color and an orca deep blue and purplish in color as well. So if his name is based on the color, unfortunately it's not a secret clue for us. Now unfortunately for Perfarius, one day while chasing dolphins, he accidentally beached himself and while trying to wiggle out of the sand, only dug himself deeper. Now locals in the vicinity quickly mobbed the whale on the beach, bringing axes and ropes and anything they could do to conquer the whale. Using ropes and wagons, poor Perfarius was pulled farther inland where he was eventually killed. According to Procopius, the death of Perfarius brought great relief through the land. Although there is some debate if they killed the actual whale or just a whale that had happened to beach itself. Now, Perfarius is the earliest documented case of a rogue whale attacking seafarers. What species of whale do you think Perfarius was? Was he a sperm whale or was he an orca? Let me know in the comments below.